What's up everybody, Peacekeeper here. Today for you guys, I'll be showing you some tips and tricks I would say for Go Hobo at all 10. So let's get into it. So as you can see, I'm using Go Hobo in two variants. Some with bowlers and some with footballers. So for this attack, I'm using no bowlers. Just to show you that it can work both ways. So when you're looking at the base, you can see that the queen is down. So that's a good thing for me. So the what you'll be looking for in a kill squad, as you can see I'm using a golem, two big dragons. They'll be used to clear a funnel for the troops to go into the middle. So you can see here, I started out with the big dragon. And I started with the big dragon on the cannon. So that I can know I'm going to get a really good funnel. I started the big dragon over here to clear these buildings. Put Archer to clear the build a hut, and they put a big dragon. And the big dragon is still working, so that's really good for me. So I'm looking around the base and just picking off buildings with the archers. And I drop the column to get the aggro with these defenses. Drop the king and the wall record. So the wall record you now has five three. So the big dragon is still working and taking out the bomb power, which is really good for me. The big dragon is still working. So the in mortar. Record goes in. King is working, so it's, you can see I'm not. I don't have my king. My king, my king's not upgrades, right? So I'm using all this. Okay, so I freeze in front of tower to let the record go further. Got a poison on the 60 troops. I got a bridge with the Valkyries. Valkyries is gonna be in the town hall. I'm gonna be the rest of the buildings. So this is gonna talk on its own. And you can see I started the hogs over here, so you can see the L shape going out through here. Normally when you're gonna kill squad you want to get a uh, inferno but that's not it it didn't really work out when we get the inferno but you can see the L chain you can see I didn't spam in my hogs I dropped like four in on the defense and just sprinkle them in so that they can not all want to get aggro the of the with the tower. So you see I dropped my first heal. So the first heal is covering the inferno tower the, Expo and the Wizard Tower. So one heal is going to take up four little, def little three little defenses. So they're working in. Then I'm going to sprinkle the rest of the all up on top of these defenses. So you see everything is working in an L shape. I'm dropping the rest of my hogs. And I'm going to let them work. I don't have to heal them now because I have three heals left back. So they're working through the L shape. And I'm gonna drop my next heal right here to cover these three defenses. The heal should have gone a little further in, but see that was that wrong. So I decided that I have the heal, so I'm gonna drop another heal, which I shouldn't have crossed over the heal spells, but I have the heal spell, so I decided to drop it. I drop the minion over to clear. So you have to when the hog portion is going through, that's when you're gonna be dropping them your cleanup troops so make sure you have a couple wizards to clean up a couple archers because you don't want to be time fail because you can time fail with go hobo it's a, but it's a really a really strong strategy if you can really get it on the way but you see the last giant bomb right here hogs are going to clean up the rest of the defenses defenses are down and they're going to clean up for the three star so the next army I have, you can see the army there. The next army I have is me using them with bowlers this time. So what I'm using, see another max hall 10. So they're using two archers, six wizards, two big dragon, 28 hogs, golem, and four bowlers. And Valkyrie is in the wrecker. I have the king, four heals, rage, freeze, and poison in the CC. So you can see I don't still have, don't, still don't have my queen. So you can see how strong this attack strategy really is at turn 10. So you can see again the queen is down and is next to in a multi target in front of tower and a single target in front of tower. So when I started I was looking where I can really get a really nice funnel so I dropped the big dragon out on the top so that's 12 o'clock and then drop the big, next big dragon like 9 8 so I'm cleaning to get this funnel I clean to get all oh, this funnel get and I want to get this mortar but Dragon with Odo here, which was not, not bad. Still cleaning. 
Then I dropped the golem to basically protect the base dragon so the dragon can clean and the king and drop the dragon. So I'm looking around the base spot right now, just looking for where I can get 80% for archer. And then I drop the bowlers. So you can see I'm going into this multi target in front of the tower. So I want to, I prefer to let my hogs hit the single than the multi. So I go into the multi and you're going to see here I have four heals. So what I do not, I'm actually going to drop the ray, the freeze to protect the bowlers from the inferno tower. And then I'm going to rage and heal through the inferno because I know I can get a lot more value if I heal the bowlers. So sing. Okay, um, Valkyrie is going to pop out the record. I'm going to clean up this, these buildings. I got the inferno, I got the multi target inferno tower and the. Uh, and I'm going to get this last bomb tower. So you can see as everything is working, I'm not going to wait till everything dies out. So I decided to drop my hogs while everything, while these were the towers are distracted. So I won't have to use some sprinkling in the hogs. This were the tower, I just bought the hogs, but that's fine. I'm going to drop some more hogs away to clean. I'm going to drop my first heal over here for the wizards and the wizard tower and the expo. Expo goes down. I have a poison still so I'm gonna try to use this in the end and then the skeleton trap comes out so it's have a poison for that I drop wizards on the outside just to clean it while the hogs are working I got a poison on the skeleton trap so the skeleton trap can start a hog army really fast I drop the heal for this the still has a farm and you can see at the end of this everything while well, the hogs are still working I have clean up have clean up wizards and stuff but normally when you're running the bullets you're not going to have much cleanup, so both armies can work really well depending on the base design. So you can something bring bowlers or no bowlers depending on how much you want to get on your kill squad. So you can see the hogs and hogs and rivers are clean up, so it just be through the rest of it. You can, see, but you can see these are basically maps on all things that are hitting, um, and I don't have any queen, so you can see, like I said for a thousand times that this attack strategy is really strong so normally so right now we're actually going to go in for a live and i'm going to show you it live without the bowlers because this army is really strong when you're hitting tall tens you can hit 11s as i showed in a couple of videos but if you get the hang of gohova because it's really strong you can get a hang of mostly any attack strategy that you practice with because you have to practice with gohova so normally you won't want to farm with this army but i'm, ba I'm basically biting the bullet but i'm still farming dark Lexus for my queen but the heroes that when i do go to 2011 i want to be maxed so every you have to really practice with this army it's not that hard to understand but I still want to help you guys in any little tips and tricks like learning to funnel for the bowlers and stuff because if you don't funnel that's not really the end of your attack because sometimes you cannot funnel and still get a triple but once you get a really tight funnel with Gohobo and you run and you get a, a lot of value with the ball with your kill squad and you have a nice L shape with the hogs you can follow the hogs with your beast spells a lot better so that's basically all for Koho but I want to know if you want to see any other attack strategies because I have some in mind for Tall 10 because so, I want to show you guys every Tall 10 attack strategy that I use already I showed you the Electron Lalo I want to start using bats but I have to upgrade my bats but I want to use Dry Bat that is a really a nice tunnel 10 attack strategy I want to try the hybrid for tunnel 10 because hybrid is a really strong attack strategy to use at a higher tunnel level so I want to see how it goes from with the tunnel 10 so if I can get so I just want to know if you guys really want to see those attacks so you can comment down below and let me know because I will do any attack strategies that you guys want to see that you need help with or anything so you can always comment and let me know but for right now you have to be patient and searching because you don't want to be farming with Goho because it's dark the only time you'll be using Goho is if your heroes are max 
But right now I'm just farming at heroes. I have a couple more walls and lab upgrades. And then I want to be bringing you guys some war content when I'm a map star 10. Because I want to show you guys how I break down a tall time base and why I pick that attack strategy. Because everyone sees the tall ten and then they just pick a random attack strategy and you don't know why because you have to be able to break down a base and it's something and you have to always put in your mind if something is gonna go wrong in the attack. So like if you think Paul is gonna walk or whatever, if you don't get your value with your kill squad, that always happens in any any warrior playing, any warrior in. So just letting you guys know that any attack strategy can work on any base, but you have to be able to funnel funnel correctly. So I'm just be searching for a base like have to be patient when you're searching you can see all these bases and you don't have to hit every single base you find you, know, you have to be really picky I would say picky in picking base because you want to be getting a lot of value in what you're doing so you can see on this base both in front of are done I'm gonna hit this for hopefully a two star so when you get the base you're gonna look around and see what you can get and what you may not get, so I'm gonna drop an art over here to start cleaning those buildings. I'm gonna drop an art over here to the bottom and lab, and I'm gonna look around and look around and see where I can put this stuff. So I'm gonna put a big dragon here on this cool storage. Hope they can get it. I'm gonna get it. I'm gonna drop another big dragon over here just to get that basically a V, a V coming down from the cool storage cannon and coming down to this. Just a little V that can cut them. If your kills cost so the big dragon is working big dragon I didn't get it oh I didn't get a cannon I'm gonna drop a hog in the cannon oh let's clean that I'm gonna drop two more hogs take that cannon out so then I'm gonna drop the I'm gonna drop the golem I'm gonna just gonna take the tesla and the visitor I'm gonna drop the wall I can wait behind I'm gonna drop the king just to start cleaning so I'm gonna go the there's right here but I don't want the king to be walking right now. Everything is really working because I'm going to be I'm gonna keep looking around more for what I can get. All we have to look around the base what what you think you can get. So the record of Tottenham, I'm gonna drop the bridge. I'll freeze. So I can take the queen I hold. Yes, queen goes down, king goes down, that's really the size. Going. Okay, the king is gonna walk. That's not bad. But the king is walking. The cope is gonna basically cut a more defensive tunnel. So I'm gonna shut the hog over here. Take the building. The rest of the hog is gonna go on the So the eagle party is gonna be like this a bit. Everything is working. So I'm gonna turn it on. And I'm not gonna work the giant bomb actually. I have a beast of ability. Everything is working with this. We are going to hit the hog. That's fine. I'm going to drop another Q. 51, 50 seconds in the red. Everything is working. The hogs are working. I'm going to drop another heal up here. I think it is. Okay, it's getting true. The wizard tower. I have one more in the freeze. So I'm going to drop the freeze over here on the other cannon. Just to stop the output, I'm gonna drop a minute on that cannon. Okay, I'm gonna drop another cube, but okay, we can see how close this one is. I want to spend a little much time in the kill squad, I'm watching the kill squad too long. We can see how powerful this attack is with some um, out bowlers. So, in about 10 seconds, I'm gonna play fail, but you can see how strong it is. You can see that you can basically take down Town Hall 11 with an ego. And even though the Inferno Towers weren't up, you can see how strong it is. So you can see you got 90% 2 star Town 11, 10 v 11. But you can really see how strong it is. Got the 
I'm gonna keep, I'm gonna keep working on the top. Just basically, it's always it's always you always need to practice. So I'm gonna see. I'm gonna go into the progress space, but you not know, see what is holding it up. Okay, two walls. This. I'm gonna put these walls in here. So I want to show you. It's not going in. Okay. And now I'm gonna show you the progress, the progress base, see how things are going. So I have the free spell in there for six days. I did that last episode. So tell me what you want to see. I'm gonna upgrade the bat spell next. May want to be getting a lot of dark for the king. And almost there, so I have a builder coming in five hours. They're working at Archer Towers. So I can drop some elixir into walls. I'm gonna build a couple walls here. And I believe we're gonna do an Archer Teller. Three days for the Archer Teller. Three, two, one, bam. Archer Teller is going up, progress base. And that'll be the upgrades for today. You can see almost finished up at the pass. And I hope you guys enjoy this quick little tips and tricks video of using Go Hobo. If you did like it, smash the like button, subscribe and comment down below what other attack strategies you want me to help you guys with. So I hope you guys have an awesome day. I'm Peacekeeper and I'm out.